It's time for another video with an OpenSCAD script for creating battery connectors for common battery packs. In this case, I'm not sure how common this is around the world. It's the little Parkside 20 volt battery. Well, it's an 18 volt battery in, in any other manufacturer. And I did look online and saw that uh, there were Thingiverse adapters for it that went the full hog. They covered the whole thing over, they even went under the latch, but I thought that's going to take ages to print. I wanted something simple, so I rattled up a basic outline of a connector that went on like this and takes speed connectors. And the end result is actually, I ended up making it shorter. The, it uses standard speed connectors like these that are crimped on, and then the assembly is pressed in with those crimps on it and then they're hot melt glued in place and I'll show you the whole process of making this. So first of all you want to take the script down below in the description and you want to print it off and this prints fast. This takes about 12 minutes to print. Once you've got it use a file to clean the elephant's foot uh, bits off this because it's a, a very precise fit. Once it's filed down, I tend to squish the material down the first layer just to get a good adhesion. So the elephant's foot is when it just splays out slightly outside and you get a slight sort of lip around the edge. So once that's off and it's going in neatly like that, get your uh, pre-crimp terminals. I chose to use the standard uh, sort of red crimps, the sort of low current ones. And making sure the other end of the cable is not shorting out. Put the red to the positive, as you would expect. Shove it in, because it goes in nicely between the contacts. And the black was in the other one. And again, shove it in so it slides into the contacts. And as a precaution, just to make sure everything's snug, just seat everything down so it's nice and tight. Then, carefully get the glue gun. I have a glue gun here. And schmoo those into place, noting that you don't want to put too much in, too much runny glue, definitely not resin, in case you actually end up gluing it permanently into the battery pack. I've just actually melted that a wee bit. That's all right. It's fine. It's going to be super. And let it cool. And while it's cooling, while it is cooling, I'll show you the other one I've made. The script is also included down below. A lot trickier. I wanted to make one for Ryobi, which is definitely around the world. Uh, here's the version I did for the Ryobi battery. It's, again, it's some, it's less than 15 minutes to print this. Very quick. It's got the polarity marked on the top. Uh, and when it's placed on over the top of the battery port, you can then take the same speed connectors and you can shove them down here and down here. So I shall shove them in. And uh, inside, well, I'll show you afterwards, there's a little uh, packer that just presses those onto the contacts. Once it's in, and this is where it gets a bit ugly, once it is in, you then hot melt glue in place. And that does make this look like a very, very ugly connector. Now, if we look inside, if I zoom down, you can see how I actually, the contacts here, which do make a good contact, they've, they're stepped out. They've got this little lip here to actually press it in. This was all done by trial and error. It only took a few goes. It was pretty good. Uh, but once you've got that hot melt glued, and this is where really it would have been nice having little ports on top that the hot melt glue went in to actually supported these crimps better. But as it is, uh, I just had to glue them like this because it prints flat to get a nice clean interior as it's printing up the way. Uh, and that kind of makes it harder to build ports out underneath without lots of sort of structural support underneath uh, that gets cleaned off later. But I'll maybe try that later on. But the end result is that uh, you get a connector that just presses snugly on and makes a decent connection onto those uh, contacts. Uh, this one is still hot. I shall uh, I'll let it cool down and I'll be back in a moment. A short time later, the glue is now set and you can pull your connector out. Here it is with its two solid spade connectors that make a very good connection when they go in. Let's check that. Let's get the meter in. Set to 20 volts because uh, this is a, well, set to 200 volts actually because 20 volts might be too low if this has got a decent charge in it. And without shorting the battery pack out, Let's see if we're getting a good connection, which we are getting a good connection. It's a great connection. 20.2 volts at your disposal. 
Uh, so that's actually a pretty good result. It makes a nice solid connection when it goes in. So let me know what you think. Uh, try the script down below and uh, tell me how they work out for you. Also, let me know if this format here, keep in mind, it's only going to take about like 12 minutes to print this. But let me know uh, if it fits a similar battery under a different name or if like, well, you know what the manufacturers are like, they tend to like move the slots about a bit uh, just to try and stop people using their batteries in other products. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. The scripts are down below in the description.